John chapter 4 verse 7 from here we read 1st Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 so that we understand this too this is verse 7 dear friends let us love one another for love comes from God everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God take note of that love comes from God everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God no condition attached to this one we have our own love here on earth which we show to the people that you know maybe we are eating from their hand we praise them every day we say good things about their lives but for this love no condition attached to it love comes from God and everyone who loves has been born of God if you know you love everyone regardless of their status where they are coming from their religion you are born of God and you know God it's Bible it's not me I can preach the language of the Bible I can quote scriptures from Revelation to Genesis I mean from Genesis to Revelation as long as that component of love which made God to live in patience despite our bad behavior here on earth he is there sitting and watching love is talking on behalf of your weakness this is why you see where there is love there is no segregation the language that we speak in the name of love here on earth is a camouflage we are not such in heart we want to deceive those who are listening to us your heart is the one which can you know i mean supposed to carry the word love if i talk about love if i define love in a simple manner for example here is a sister and the brother the brother said i love you and the sister said me too i love you the sister doesn't know that that love is not from the heart it is from the feeling towards that sister are you there that love is not from where it is from where the feelings towards the sister and because of that the sister will surrender a body to the brother and the brother will sleep with the sister the next day the sister will call the brother hello sweetie yes sweetie I'm pregnant you say what you say what baby I'm pregnant for who is it not for you please don't talk rubbish you know with me uh, why are you talking to me like this okay I, I'm coming we'll come and discuss that we can't talk on phone it's a big issue are you there this is the brother who said I love you the love is not from the heart it is from the feelings feelings is more like appetite for food you can say I love this food as long as you are satisfied with that food you will not continue saying I want to eat more no you just say no I'm full now I'm okay that is the fake love we are demonstrating the sister is pregnant the brother said I'm not responsible through their discussion okay I'll take care of the baby but for you I cannot marry you is that one love Come on, people of God, I'm talking to you. Can you go that one love? It's not love. Or maybe you form a company. You are just struggling. Before you know it, by the grace of God, you start counting what? Money. The one who produced the paper 
Start now saying, if he, it is me who has made this company to be where it is. The time you were forming that company, because you say, I love you, me too, I love you. Let's work together. Something has come in between you and your partner to prove your love. If true, that love is from your heart. Money cannot destroy your personal relationship with your brother. No matter how much millions start to enter your account, you still love your brother because it's from where? But if it was just, you know, a feelings towards the brother, you'll be thinking otherwise. It's better you go your way, I go my way. That is the love in the world. We love those people who are providing for us. The way you love your kids, the way you love your wife or your husband, is not the way you love your neighbor or your fellow worker. You can eat, your fellow brother will be sleeping without food. Are you there? The Bible says that those who love, they are born of God and they know God. Let me call you, it's not yet over. You just follow me. Whoever does not love does not know what. You can force yourself to say you are a child of God by force. You can cut the title, Pastor Mlenga. Oh, Prophet Mlenga, Apostle Mlenga. As long as you are not such in heart, you are deceiving those who trust you, you are misleading those who believe in you, but you cannot mislead the love of God. It's just a matter of time. Love does not keep long things. Love does not remind the bad record. In fact, the Bible says that the love of God covers the multitude of what? Sin. His love is unmeasurable love. If the world were to be one in, in heart, I mean, we, we love each other, all these problems that you see will not be there. Because God is love. The good example is that he sent his own son as a sacrifice for our sin. Listen to these people of God. This is the person that offended you. He offended you in so many ways. You give these people a responsibility to handle this. They have destroyed everything. They are insulting you every day. They are speaking bad language about you. They are going against your instruction. Because of the love that you have towards them, you said, I'm not going to let this continue. Let me send my son. So that I can bring these people back to me because they are my own. Jesus came. Instead of you and me to receive Jesus, we started now persecuting Jesus, calling him different kinds of names. If it is you as a human being, you have been called to reconcile with your brother or your sister. And then the person that you are supposed, I mean, the one who offended you, Continue accusing you wrongly to say, look, you are an idiot. You are a fool. You see now. Hmm? So you bring all these people that they can talk on your behalf. My friend, forget about me. And this is the person who offended you. You are just quiet. Until you fulfill what you promised because of love. Even if you discover your wife or your husband with something which you don't know, because of the love of God, not the, love, the feelings. The one you call love is your feelings. I have talked about this one. I gave you this example, a boy and a girl, where you say, I love you. You impregnate that sister. Where is your love again? You said, I'm not responsible. Love is not the language. It is the practical work of God Almighty in us. And what can make the world to be at peace is love. Even where you talk about unity, 
As long as there's no love, forget about unity. How can you unite without love? Because love cares. Love consider others to be more important than yourself. So you cannot talk about unity where there's no love. Even in our family, there's no way you can say, I want to unite the family where there's no love. It is love first. Love understands life beyond your weakness. Love does not know your weakness. No. It just knows you as a human being. Created with the love of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even if you know you are injured, insulted, beaten, you will not revenge because love cannot allow you to do that. You are a symbol of peace. You are the sign that God Almighty lives on and he loves everyone regardless of the type of life that you are living. This is why you see even witches and wizards, they are still there. In fact, they are even living long life more than a child of God. Make no mistake. You see them driving, you see them enjoying, you know, higher positions. It doesn't mean that for them to be there or for them to live long, they are good more than you. No. It is the love of God working towards them so that at the end of their journey, maybe they will realize that this is not the way of life. The love of God does not expire as long as you exist here on earth. Are you there? I said the love of God does not what? Expire in your life. Until you leave this world, that's when the love of God will expire. Because it's either you die as a sinner or a child of what? Come on, people of God. I'm talking to your heart. The love of God does not expire in every human being's life. Whether you are a witch, a satanist, a politician, whatever the life that you are living. The love of God is still there. It's the one keeping you. Until you leave this world. Until you leave this, the love of God is still active. Even those who are drinking. Right now as I'm speaking, there are others who are already drunk. But the love of God is there for them. A child of God will leave this world. A witch will live up to 90 years. It doesn't mean that they became successful here on earth. No. The love of God is waiting for you to change. Because the price that you know he made for you, he cannot make his son die for nothing. No. He died because of you. So that you regain your original status as a child of God. Look at Stephen. In that book of Acts chapter 7, verse 59. He prayed. He prayed to God to say, Father, do not account anything against these people. Can you pray such prayer where they are stoning you, where they are beating you? Is it possible? It's not possible. People of God, God is love. Where there is love, there is unity. Where there is love, there is progress. Even the love you talk about God to say, I love Jesus, is, is a lie, a blue one. You do not. If you love him, you praise him. How? By making sure that you do what can praise him. You obey the word of God more than your feelings. It is feelings that are misleading our faith. Your feelings and the love of God is not the same. I may feel good towards you today because of what you have done. Maybe I heard you say something good about me. Tomorrow I may not feel the same way because I've heard something. We pray for people personally. God used me to pray a lot of people. They are healed, they are deliverance. They have never come back to this place to say, Jesus healed me here. I will keep on loving them no matter what because it is not me but the love of God healed them and delivered them. This is why I was telling you about destiny. Anything God put in your heart, because it is within you, you are not doing that because of the eyes of the people. No. It is the work of your day you are doing. Ah, 
I love you. I love you. You only love people that, you know, are giving you something. Not those who are opposing your opinion or your views. You cannot love them. Can you love them? No. Praise the Lord. I hope and trust that this message will help our faith. Verse 9. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. See the way God loves you. This is how we showed love. By sending his one and only son as a sacrifice. There is a price you need to pay for you to be a child of God through love. The Bible says vengeance belongs to God. People are in court, not because of claiming or whatever. There are others who are in court because of what? Confusion, finger pointing. This is how God showed love. By sending his only one, I mean only son to the world. Love is placatical. Love is not theory. Love is not ba 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 no. See the way we gossip. Even, even within the church, people gossip every day. Look at you. After talking about your friend, in the eyes of your friend, you are saying, I love you. Behind your back, you are saying, this idiot. Hmm? That is not Christianity. Jesus never, never gossiped or talked about anyone. I'm afraid the way, you know, we are living as Christians. I know that there are, there are things that we respect as human beings. It doesn't mean that God is involved. God honors his word. More than the respect that you give to yourself. If his word is not in you, if his word is not practical in you, even if you fast 20 times a day without love in your heart, something is on the way coming to provoke you, to destroy your prayer and fasting. The way you are going to react who determine your prayer and fasting. Are you there? Up to now, you are still living in the past. What happened maybe 20, 15 years ago or five years ago, you are still thinking about where are you going with that thing? Don't forget that you are here for a while. Nothing permanent here on earth. Any position that you are holding is for a period of time. But the life of Christ in you is eternal life. But why are you not caring about this relationship? Where you keep love? Are you there? Mm. Let, me, let me call you. It, it, it's, it's a long journey. I like the, the message here. It's a long journey. Look at verse 10. This is love. I mean, this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. The love of God does not attract your love. No. He showed his love. In fact, we learn from him how to love. It is not the work of the righteousness that brought Jesus to, to this earth. It is the sin of human beings where God showed his own love to say, no matter how bad you are, I still love you. Let me bring you back to me as my own people. He sent his only son. The only word. When you are giving, even offering you look at the, the small, small figure. 
Small, small what? I'm talking to you. Mm. Small, small what? God might, you know, <coughs> if you see the way God loves you, I don't think so. You, there's anything that you can count that I have shown love to God Almighty in this way. I am not saying by giving him money. No. It is your heart. When you are coming to church on Sunday, there are others, you know, Abasunga uh, change. Ia kuisa tulapisa pa Sunday. Bambi ngavalesa kuchechi wafuleba pitana mutu shop wafuleba kuata change. Idea ya naya kuata mazilo ya bidina wanu imoteti ingile mumbale. Bafuleba fuwa ya kuatristi eh, one zero. Nish tulangirila. Tulangirila efyo tuate mwalesa. Opo tuamu wika. But that is not the issue. I'm just giving you this example. The issue is love for one another. I will jump and go to that book because of uh, time. But let me try to uh, share one or two again. Dear friend, this is verse 11. Since God, dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Do you love your friend, your neighbor, or anyone? The answer is no. We are inside the church. Everyone will say yes. We are quick to that one. But your character always exposing you. Because what you are confessing is not what you are. No one, this is verse 12, has, seen, has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us. And his love is made completely in us. Have you ever seen Jesus? Have you ever seen God Almighty? The Bible says that if we love each other, God lives in us. And his love is completely in us. You have never seen God. People always confess love, which is not from their heart. Love cares for everyone. Love does not pay evil for evil. Love does not revenge. Love is the character of God in us. Even where they are provoking you, you will not react. Others will be saying, Is this person norm? Is this man norm? He cannot react to the insult. People are talking, they are saying this, they are saying this. Ah, this man. It is this man who is tolerating. Like on my, in my own example, sometimes I hear people saying, It is the pastor who is tolerating all this. No, I am not tolerating. You need to show love. Love is a good teacher even to those who are opposing your views. Love is what? Tell your neighbor, say, love is a good teacher. Even for those who are doubting you, love is going to prove them wrong. God cannot give you his power or his eyes to see or his ears to hear as long as you are segregating. No. His love covers everyone. Which doctors are enjoying their life and yet they are mocking God? They are deceiving the masses. Criminals, they are sleeping now after attacking innocent souls. Which oxygen they are using? Is it not from Jesus? That is love. God Almighty is waiting for them to change. If you choose to die like that, you go to hell. But the love of God will remain there for you until you realize that this is not the way of life. Any position that you occupy, demonstrate love. Let the love of God be seen in you. Being a leader, a rich man, use your wealth to show love.
to the world that yes, God blessed me for this. I am in this position for this. Not whereby you are in that position, whoever is coming seeking for employment, you say, give me something, then I will employ you. God gave you that position so that you can use that one to demonstrate his love. If we love each other, there's no need for anyone to say, I am a child of God. No. The people who know that, yes, the collect of Jesus is in them. Where there is love, there's no quarrel. There's no fight. Can you beat yourself? Can you injure yourself? The answer is no, because you love yourself. If you can show the same love to your brother or your sister, this world will be at peace. The love of God is no longer there. I'm talking about the love of God in our life. I did not say which title. I'm talking about what? The love of God in our lives. Our love is a fake love. I love you because you are eating from me. The day you are, not going to eat, you are not going to eat from my hand, you start insulting me. You start calling me names. You say things which is not even there. Because you are no longer eating from this hand. You are now blaming Mulenga is what? Mulenga is stupid. Mulenga is what? They don't know him. That man is stubborn. You are no longer eating from me. If I could come and eat with them, he's a good man. That man is a good man. They don't know that Mulenga is a good person. I have never seen a pastor like that one. You are eating from my hand. The day you are not going to eat from here, that man is useless. There are people who left the church because they deny them, the, you know, the opportunity to come and see Pastor Mulenga. Like this church is, is useless. If you love Jesus, we are not here to discuss anything with pastors. We are here to worship who? Simple. Pastor is a human being like you. I need salvation the way you need salvation. Are you there? Do you love your neighbor more than yourself? Hmm? Can you forgive? In this world, there's no forgiveness. The world does not forgive. The world does not what? Maybe you don't know this. If you continue living in that way, you never see progress in your life. You keep on talking about people's life. But if you forgive and love, the door is open for you. You will see progress where they are doubting. You will see things moving forward where people are saying nothing is moving forward there. Before they know it, you are shining like a morning star. No, 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 no. If you see your brother driving or building a mansion, say, oh, Father, thank you. Ah, you see your brother is a member of parliament, a counselor, a mayor, a president. Say, Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. But without love in your heart, you say, you see your face. That is your heart. You make your face angry. That is your heart. Appreciate what others, you know, they are doing. If you want others to appreciate you, learn to appreciate others. No one is perfect. Hallelujah. Are you there? Are, are you listening to me? I hope you are getting the point. Praise the Lord. Listen to verse 13. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his spirit. When the love of God is mature in your heart, God will deposit his Holy Spirit in you to regulate your spiritual life. To regret everything that you are doing, whether it is physical or spiritual, 
the spirit of God will be there to guide you. No matter how hard it is for you to forgive, because the nature of God is inside you, you find the room in your heart to forgive and forget. What causes fight here on earth is unforgiveness. There is no love. The evil you pay me, I'll pay you with the same evil. You can say I love you, but your character is exposing you. The world is upside down. Because we want to live according to our feelings. Take note of these people of God. Feelings are not love. I can feel for you for a while. I can, tell me, are you still moving with the same friend that you had two years ago? I'm talking to you now. Are you still moving with the same friend that you used to move two years ago or three years ago? You have changed how many friends? Hmm? And you keep on blaming others to say, that one, I, I made the mistake to know that person. You too, you have your own. If you are there and you show love, everyone, regardless of their characters, you find room in your heart to accommodate them. You give them, they'll go and gossip about you. You continue what? Giving them. You do good things, they'll go and name you. He's a satanist. He's what? He's what? You keep on loving them. That is the character of God. Take note of this message. God is love. God is what? Love is beyond weakness. Love is beyond ethnic and tribes. It is not easy to love everyone if it is not God Almighty in you. You can pretend, but future will prove you wrong. It is not easy to say, I love everyone. No. Something bad will happen. People will see that, ah, twice you were talking to me. If you watch that react, you were just pretending. You are just what? Pretending. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me jump to 15. If anyone acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them, and they are in God. Because of time, let me go to... Uh, please, go and read all of it. Go and read it when you go home. Before I leave this book, let me uh, uh, jump to 19. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God, yet, yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen, can they love God? The answer is no. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or a sister is a liar. It is not me, it is the Bible claiming, I mean, calling all of us liars. If you cannot love your brother, love, it doesn't mean that you need to love those who are saying good things, who have never offended you. No. Love is love. Whether I offend you, you need to love me. Whether I denied you that opportunity, you need to love me. Whether I insulted you, love me. That is the nature of God, for you to be a child of God. Let, let, let's go to 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 13. We all know this scripture. 
This is verse 13. And now, these three remain, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Meaning, love is the mother of faith and hope. You will be great in life if you live, I mean, you continue living in love. These three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest is love. Do you know the reason why the love is greatest? Where there's love, there's no harm. There's no fight. There's no confusion. In fact, someone who, who, who is living in love is a very peaceful person. You enjoy peace. You, you are free in your spirit. Hope, faith, and love. But the greatest is what? Is love. No wonder why Jesus is great. You are living in sin. He still loves you. His mercy is always working for your good. His favor is always working for your success. It doesn't mean that the life you are living is good, no. The main issue in the house of God is salvation. Your last day here on earth is very, very important. That's why the love of God is there up to the day you are going to leave this world. Choice is yours. Choice is yours. It's either you leave it or you take it. Choice is yours. You are there. There are people that you cannot face or greet. Why? Because they offend you. Even a witch, greet them to say, Mwabuka Shani, how are you? Shiken Mwane, Mulibuti. Greet them. You are making them to be what? Powerless. You cannot fight love and win the battle. No. As long as I am in love with God, fight me. Let me see how you get, you get me. Or you win the battle. Love always carry what? The day. Sometimes the way you are going to react the way you are going to react it's like you carry even his weakness or our weakness. I mean the blame. All the blame will come on you. If you insult me or you are gossiping about me, I'll just look at you. These are the people that I trust to be my people. Oh, they are betraying me physically, but spiritually they cannot what? I will not be angry. I'll keep on smiling. I'll keep on smiling. There are people who come to you in life because there's something that they want from you. It doesn't mean that they will remain with you. No, they will leave you. But the love of God will remain with you. You see them following you, following you. Immediately, they will disappear like vapor. As long as you are not in love with God, you'll be depressed. Mercy, my love. Please. If truly you understand that the love of God is beyond your weakness, is beyond persecution, is beyond hatred, there's something I left there. The, where the same book I was reading. If you read it, you find it. The Bible says that we are like Jesus here on earth. Is there in that book of First John? If you go down, you discover that one. We are like Jesus here. What here on earth? Jesus came. He will deliver this one. They will continue calling him different kinds of names. He will provide food for them. They will continue calling him. He never, never said, "Oh." So I'm doing all these things to you. And this is the way you are paying me. I will show you. No. Because he came to plant love. 
He came to bring you back to his father. Through what? Love. If Jesus were to be react according to what, you know, we treated him, by now, no one can talk about Jesus. His mercy is always flowing like water in our lives. This is why you see a bad person tomorrow, I mean yesterday, today will be a pastor. Even wicked people who are hiding in titles, they can claim Jesus with their mouth, but their heart is full of what? Evil. Because the love of God spared them. No one should judge them. No. Their conscience is always telling them that, look, <laughs> you are not uh, the way you confess. You, you, you are deceiving yourself. Look at Jesus you are confessing with your mouth. His character. Match your confession with your character. You say you love. Why do, why do you hate? If, if there is a place where there is confusion and hatred, it's within the church. Not within the body of Christ. No, 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 no. He said, that is a mistake. If someone says the body of Christ is, is full of confusion. No, 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 no. The body of Christ cannot be confused. It is the church. Church means what? Your heart and my heart. We are not saved. We are members. We are religious people who do not understand the way of the Lord. We are just using his word as a camouflage. Criminals are hiding in the name of Christianity. The way they are treating their fellow human beings, you can't even like it. Why? People are calling Bible. Go and see them in their offices. After Sunday, they became lions. Sunday, they are angels. They are working to please people. Go to their places. They are lions. What people talk about you behind your back is not what they can say in front of your face. Love is God. God is what? Are you a child of God? Even deliverance that we are receiving every week is a pitch that here we are not conducting testimony for deliverance. Deliverance means what? You are living a whole life and you are living a new what? New life. Where you need to confess the way you, you used to live before. I was calling and forgiveness. I was calling this. But we don't consider deliverance as one of the, if it's the highest in the ministry of Jesus, deliverance. Because deliverance prepare people for salvation. Membership does not prepare anyone for salvation. It is deliverance. Deliverance always work for what? Separation from darkness to light. There you receive the love of God. This is why you will see someone who is a witch, a killer, you will receive deliverance today. Tomorrow, you will start, you know, confessing the love of God. Look at Apostle Paul, who was against the church. He received the love of God and he started what? Preaching the love of his deliverance is here in this book. This is why after someone is delivered, we need to interrogate that person. So that we prove the love of God. Next week that person must come and say, yes, I can see a new life. I feel loved. Praise the Lord. Mercy. The Lord my life is mercy. The Lord my life.